Hi there, I'm Dr. Katie Thompson with the Health Improvement Center. Um, I, if you haven't noticed the theme already with my Facebook Live videos, is, this week is Nutritional Geniuses. I covered on Monday Royal Lee, who developed the standard process supplement line that I use extensively in my office. Then on Wednesday, I discussed Weston May Price, a dentist in the same era. Today, I'm going to uh, discuss Francis Pottinger, who was an MD back in the 30s and 40s, uh, same era as Weston Price and Royal Lee. What Francis Pottinger did is he was doing experiments on cats, and what he found, he was getting a lot of cooked meat from the sanitarium down the street and he was feeding the cats cooked meat. And he noticed that the cats after his experiment, what basically in his experiment, what he was doing was he was doing adrenalectomies, main, meaning that he was taking the adrenal gland out of the cats to see can uh, we survive without our, our adrenals. And he found in fact that they cannot um, unless you feed them a high salt diet. <clears throat> so what he was doing was um, post-surgery, he had them on, on just cooked meat. And what he was noticing is that the cooked meat cats were not staying healthy, uh, were having a lot of health issues, um, emotional issues as well, behavioral, I should say, behavioral issues such as being aggressive, Weren't able, weren't able to procreate and have babies um, in third or fourth generations. So what he was like, okay, why is this happening? Well, at the same time, the uh, sanitarium wasn't able to supply all the meat that he needed, so he went to a butcher. The butcher gave him raw meat. Now, I'm not saying that we go and eat raw meat. Let me just uh, make sure I make that abundantly clear, though I do like my prime rib very raw. But basically what he did was he started feeding these cats the raw meat instead of the cooked meat and what he found was amazing he found that the cats eating raw meat lived better were healthier no behavior issues were able to reproduce now in nutritional circles what we say is that we are an example of pottinger's cats we are third or fourth generation pottinger's cats what that means is if you've noticed in any, you look on Facebook, any of the feeds on Facebook are talking, some of them are talking about women not able to get pregnant, um, having difficulty getting pregnant, a lot of miscarriages. I've seen quite a few clients in my office who are having that experience. And it's because of the food we're eating. And if we just ate a really clean, raw diet, meaning um, healthy foods, foods that are organic, um, not necessarily raw meat, but just um, cook it safely. And um, we would not be in the situation that we're in. And so what a lot of nutritionists refer to uh, this era is that we are um, examples of Pottinger's cats. We are third, maybe fourth generation Pottinger's cats, meaning that we aren't surviving too long. We continue with the horrible diets that we eat, the high white refined sugar, and we're gonna ha start having a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And we're already seeing that, not only in teeth issues, but specifically in reproductive issues. And as I said, I see a lot of clients with reproductive issues. I wanna show you something, so come with me. So I have here, let me grab it off the wall, is this, can you all see that? This is, 31 teaspoons of sugar. Each one of those uh, cubes is a half a teaspoon of sugar. What I wanted to do was show my clients what, look, what eating 31 teaspoons of sugar looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, and that's what's killing us. That's what's causing heart disease. That's what's causing high cholesterol. That's what's causing obesity, um, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, is all the sugar we eat. And I'm not just referring to refined white sugar. Uh, if you're eating a lot of pastas and breads and rice and cereal, all that, guess what? Converts to this. So it's just food for thought. Again, um, we're discussing Francis Pottinger, uh, a man before his time. Yes, he did studies on cats. I'm not a big fan of that. But he came up with a 
what's happening. He was able to get these cats healthy by putting them on raw food, raw milk. I'm a big proponent of raw milk, as a lot of you know. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoy giving these, and I'm going to continue to do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so stay tuned. And next week, we'll, have some, we'll start discussing some of the health concerns that I see in my office. And then I'll splatter it with some success stories, etc. So thanks for tuning in. Again, we were talking about Francis Pottinger. If you want to know more, there's the Price Pottinger Foundation. Uh, that has a lot of great information about uh, Francis Pottinger. You can also do a Google search of it. And um, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Dr. Katie Thompson with the Health Improvement Center, and have a fantastic day and a great weekend.